Today, we're going to show you how to hit the ball further through four key factors. Thomas, what are they? First factor is club speed. Second factor is efficiency, where you catch it on the club face. Third factor is angle of attack. And the final factor is getting fit for the right equipment. All right, well, Thomas, let's get right into it with club speed here. So Drew, we just replicated what the average amateur golfer does on the golf course. Yep. So first thing was club speed. Mm -hmm. Club speed was about 94 miles an hour. Yep. Second thing was efficiency, 1.44. That is ball speed divided by club speed. Yep. Third thing was angle of attack. Mm -hmm. I hit at about two degrees down. Yep. So I hit the ball, what, it was about 230 yards total. I know there's a lot of distance to be had out there, Thomas. Let's talk about club speed and how golfers can improve theirs. Yeah, club speed is so important. It is potential distance. I have used over speed training to help me increase club speed. I also work out, I work on my flexibility, I work with an instructor, uh, finding ways to turn through the ball and generate more speed. So why don't we hit some shots here where I increase my club speed yep. without making any other changes. Okay. Should be pretty good. Did you miss hit it a little bit too? I tried to miss hit it. <laughs> yeah, one four four. How about that? Perfect. So I hit down on it. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, that's well, great. What was my club speed? What was my attacking? One four six. Okay, so I picked up ten miles now. Perfect. Okay. It's so good. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So Thomas, on that shot, your club speed went up to one hundred four point six. So I picked up ten miles an hour club mm -hmm. speed. Yep. Uh, so that actually did increase your distance, right? Two hundred seventy one yards. That's nothing to sneeze at, of course, um, but there's still some distance to be had, I think, right? And so where I look at it is a smash factor of 144. That's a little bit less than the maximum efficiency you can have. So the next part here, imagine just finding the center of the club face. Right, so that's just some shots that are a little bit closer to the middle. One four, straight shot over 146. All right, perfect. What's the club speed, what's the tech angle? I'm gonna make sure you hit it further, but I think you did 279, so you hit it further. Yep. Okay. So, so, so Thomas, on that one, you hit that one a little bit more efficient. Smash factor of 1.46 there, so you gain a little bit of ball speed, uh, but you're still hitting down on the ball too. You have a 1.2 down attack angle there. And so, uh, I did wanna have you show people, you know, what the, the right attack angle looks like. What numbers are we looking for here, and how do we get there? Right, yeah, so attack angle is the third, and probably one of the most important factors, really. If you can increase your attack angle, you're going to hit the ball so much further. So the first thing I do is I will tee the ball a little bit higher. So by okay. teeing the ball a little higher, it forces me to try and hit the ball more on the up. Mm -hmm. If the ball is down, naturally you're going to try and hit down on it like an iron. Sure. Second thing I'll do is I will move my ball position. So I'll move my ball position a little further forward in my stance kind of on the left heel or out on the left toe if I really mm -hmm. want to try and hit up on it. And then at setup, what I'm also thinking about is I'm thinking about my left shoulder being a little higher than my right. Mm -hmm. So at impact, I'm going to come through, I'm going to feel like I'm coming up on it, I'm not going to hit the ground at all. Sure. <laughs> and landed. Okay, so you're, all right, so Thomas, your attack angle there was 7.1 degrees up. <laughs> and actually, it's funny that you did gain a lot of carry distance there, but your, your total distance was only about six yards further. So now we get to the point of the fit of the driver. Correct. So the loft on that one is certainly not the right fit for you because you hit that ball 173 feet in the air. And I know you've said about 100 to 110 feet is the, the money range. So right. uh, let's get that driver fit for your swing. What are you going to do there? Yep, so first thing is I am going to decrease the loft. Okay. I'm going to go to 8 degrees. I actually play 8 degrees loft on my driver right now. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to switch it to the club head that I play. This one we were hitting was the max head. I'm a little better golfer. I need to reduce the spin and the height. So I'm going to go with the triple diamond okay. head. Uh, eight degrees of loft, and I'm going to go with an extra stiff golf shaft because now I'm swinging closer to kind of numbers that I'm kind of used to. Okay, perfect. Let's see uh, what the numbers say. That was definitely a lower, more penetrating ball. It flight. was. It was. Uh, you did not hit that one 173 feet in the air that time. Your attack angle was 6.4 degrees up, so you still maintained that. 
uh, but this time with the better fit driver, you carried the ball 292 yards and total of 322. And so now these are extreme examples, right, that we're using here because your club speed is probably not going to jump from 94 to 112 very quickly like that. But with that said, you went from 237 yards average to 322 by optimizing all four of those factors. And again, that's a pretty significant gain on the course. Right, and it's a combination of all four factors. You can work on each of the factors probably in no particular order. If you can increase your, your attack angle, then change the loft, then you're, you're in a good spot. If you, even if you haven't increased your club speed yet. Mm -hmm. But if you gradually can get your club speed to increase over time, naturally you're going to generate more potential distance. Mm -hmm. And then you catch in the middle of the club face, then bingo, more ball speed and more distance. For sure. Well, Thomas, thanks for those tips. Uh, I think, you know, again, pretty extreme examples, but I think that's the roadmap for golfers to gain more distance uh, and hit longer tee shots. And so, again, one through four, you go through those steps and you'll be hitting the ball a lot further. So, Thomas, I think golfers are really going to like that one.